Hello, in this speech, I'm going to present our paper, Obstruction-Based Incremental Inductive Coverability for PatientNets. The core functionality of our algorithm is to determine for target marking MT whether MT is coverable in a PatientNet. MT is coverable if there exists a reachable marking MR from the initial marking such that MT is less than or equals MR. There are many state-of-art methods to solve that question. One of these is SC3. It computes an inductive invariant by maintaining a sequence of over approximations of forward reachable markings. SC3 for PatientNet solves the coverability problem of PatientNet without using SMT solvers. However, SC3 works on PatientNet with high dimensionality directly. Can it perform better? Here is a method, we call it place merge abstraction. It reduces the dimensionality of patchiness by merging some places into one, and then gets an abstract patchiness with lower dimensionality. For example, the figure showing left side is a patchiness. Then we merge red places into one and the blue places into one. Finally, we can get an abstract patchiness with only two places showing red side. So, we try to improve the auto performance of SC3 by combining it with place merge abstraction in SIGAR framework. If necessary, abstraction is refined. We call the new method SC3 plus PMA. Here is the structure of our method. First, it initially generates a core set abstraction by merging all places into one. Then, it checks abstraction by IC3. If uncoverable in abstraction, we can get an inductive invariant of abstraction and conclude that MT is uncoverable in original model. Otherwise, if coverable in abstraction, we can get a counterexample pi and then check whether this counterexample is spurious. If not, we have that MT is coverable in our original model. If spurious, we need to refine current abstraction according to the spurious counterexample and continue to check the new abstraction until SC3 plus PMA ends. Thank you for your attention.